Slice, you look really sharp. Looking really good, sharp. Slice. Look Slice. big. Look good. Band looks great. Give it up for Brian in the yeah. band. Yeah. Come on. Wow. It's hot out there. Man, it was hot today. Crazy, Chucky. crazy hot. Hot. Yeah, it was so hot, I was sweating like Donald Trump at a quinceanera. <laughs> That's how hot it was. That's hot. I'm still waiting for El Nino. Really? El yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our gardener. He comes, uh, <laughs> we call him Nino. <laughs> Little L. He's Little a small, <laughs> he's short. We have to help him with the weed whacker. Yeah, I, yeah, imagine. <laughs> it, <laughs> We lost him in the grass last week. We, <laughs> hey, big election year. How, how many are following this election? Oh, I am. Yeah, this is great. How many are voting? Just curious. Yeah, so let's say four. All, all four people. Yeah, all four people. Wow, big turnout. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really following this thing because, uh, well, Donald Trump says he'd like to uh, deport 11 million Latinos. Mm. And, and, and I'm, I'm following this thing big time because this could be my last show. Ooh, I'm so. telling you. <laughs> No more Latinos. Can you imagine yeah. no more cooks, Mexican cooks no. in the, in the uh, kitchen? My favorite Chinese restaurant could shut down. <laughs> it would go under. That would go under. Yeah. And half of your family would be out of work. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd right. be all of his family. I'm yeah, kidding. Well. But anyway. Hey, there's a lot in the name. You know, they, they do this thing all the time where married couples, they put them together. They Brangelina, uh, Benifer, and so on. I thought about this. If Hillary wins the election, gets into the White House, she's got bail, right? <laughs> Would it be called Hillbilly? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know what's, what's something is this transgender thing is, is huge right now. It's all over the news. It's, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to stay politically you know, neutral here. Uh, but it's just all over the place and uh, the bathrooms and stuff. And, and, and Hillary is really taking advantage of this now. She's, she's thrilled. Yeah. She really is because she can now run as a woman. Ooh, man. <laughs> <laughs> what a crush. Hillary fans in the crowd. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I met, I met Hillary. She's a really, really nice guy. Really <laughs> nice. <laughs> a, 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 a gentleman, a gentleman. In a few more months, uh, Obama's going to be gone. President Obama oh, will be moving on. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know. A lot of people I'm, I'm, I'm busted up. Yeah, I'm disappointed. A lot of people are real sad about that. Um, so, you know, Subway has figured out a way to honor President Obama. They, they've come out with a sandwich. Really? Yeah, really, yeah, really cool. I, I thought it was a pretty good idea. Uh, it's a six-footer <laughs> full of baloney. Oh! <laughs> hey! Hey! We've got a great show for you tonight. Don't go anywhere. Mark Christopher Lawrence is on the show. Yeah. We'll be back after this. I just gave you some man, and I support Donald Trump 100%. So remember, a vote for Donald is a vote for Busey. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take America back and make it what it once was. A vast ice land <laughs> covered in ice. Squirrel! Welcome back. We've got a great show for you tonight. Uh, guess we have uh, Mark Christopher. One, one second. Are you, are you serious? Ladies and gentlemen, we have something very special tonight. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump is in the house. Donald Trump is here tonight. Uh, wow. It was marginally best. 
What are you doing here? Just want to stop by, Chucky. Huge, huge fan. I love this show. Love it. I love what you're doing for Latinos, the Hispanics, the Mexicans. Terrific, terrific people. I'm, I'm wearing one of your hats. I love your show. That, that's not one of, one of our hats. All right, I lied. <laughs> Listen, you're doing a great job. Again, I love the Hispanics. I had a chimichanga earlier at El Polo Loco, whatever. Absolutely, the drive through is fantastic. Uh, Chimichangas for everyone. You realize you're, you said a lot of controversial things. Yes, I, I know. Yeah. And so you have a lot of people concerned um, with this wall you're, you're building. Well, you know, How are you going to build that wall? Well, it's going to be absolutely terrific, terrific wall. First of all, you know, it's going to be 975,000 miles long, 975. Who is going to build the well, wall? Well, we got a terrific group of young men, uh, very inexpensive, that I found right in front of the Home Depot. Very oh. impressive, young, bilingual. Uh, for a cheap price, they'll keep their family out. No problem. Absolutely terrific. It's going to be beautiful. We're having Pink Floyd there for the kickoff. A Michael Jackson look like doing off the wall. Terrific, terrific people. He's actually a real black man, unlike Michael. We'll be doing some Chinese later on. I'm not talking about this Asian woman up front, but it's absolutely terrific. We're going to have a lot of great people out there. The wall is going to be the bricks alone, Chucky. The bricks are going to be tremendous, tremendous. We'll be tremendous back after bricks. this, everybody. I'm telling you, the whole thing is going to be. Well, it's your turn, remember it might. Can't tell him once, you gotta tell him twice. Well, it's your turn, short term memory might. Keep it God. Hey, Steve, I'm here. I got your voicemail message. Went home and got my gear. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> do what? Baseball. No. I said Tennis Tuesday. <laughs> 10 minutes ago, I called you, said, bring your racket, meet me at the courts, Tennis Tuesday. Tennis. tennis. You did not, say tennis. Not baseball, tennis. My short-term memory, Steve. You know how I suffer, darn it. Sorry. Ugh. Well, hey, can I pitch? <laughs> Welcome back. My guest tonight has been in Chuck. You know him from Chuck, Pursuit of Happiness, Terminator. He's all over TV right now with AT&T. Please welcome Mr. Mark Christopher Lawrence. <laughs> Good to have you, brother. Oh, man. Good to be seen. Good to be seen. Good to be seen. Good to be seen. Hey, you know, I'm just trying to keep up with you. Hey, I, I see every day we watch AT&T commercial pops on, and there's like three of them out there right now. You're all over TV. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the funny thing about that was, was uh, the little girl and I auditioned at the first audition together. Okay. And then uh, we got the call back, and so I said to her, right after the call back, I said, okay, see you on set. And she like, said, you think? I said, yeah. You spoke it. You had it. Hey, yeah. you know, you know. Maybe you're Sometimes prophetic. You, know. you don't even know. Maybe you're a prophet. You don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, why am I still making stupid mistakes in life? <laughs> you're, you haven't perfected that gift yet. That's, that's that the is. problem. That's, that's the problem. So what's going on now? Uh, you know, just, just trying to keep the, keep the ball rolling. Yeah. You know, I just finished um, a sizzle reel with uh, 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 Rock Shrimp Productions. Okay. It's uh, Bobby Flay's company. Oh. So we're trying to do like a... Um, Travel food Bobby show. Flay, Bob, everybody knows Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay's the cook. Yeah, the, right? the cooking guy. Yeah. 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 Oh my, what a yeah, He's got some great restaurants. Man. Is there a room for someone else to be on that show? I love you. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll try to figure it out. So what's the show consist of? You're eating, obviously, right? Yeah, it's 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 basically a travel food show. Okay. You know, you travel around. And, and what's eat, uh, and when's that coming out? To... Um, well, they're they're shopping it to uh, the Travel Channel, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so it won't be necessarily be on that. Food channel. Yeah, it won't be the Food Network. No, no, Travel Channel is part of the Food Network. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's all connected then. It's okay. all connected. Yeah. Wow. And so, yeah. man, I look at your 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 whole list, INDB, right? Mm -hmm. And I look at all the movies you've been in. And just the other day. And that's not all of them. Uh, that's what's because listed, Because I started yeah. before IMDB was around. Back in the day. So there's stuff that you I look did great. in the 70, early days. 77 years I'm old. I'm telling you, you I'm awesome. 975 years old <laughs> if I was a dame. Yeah. <laughs> So, so I'm looking at all this, and I said, uh, just the other day, Pursuit of Happiness was on. 
Yeah. And I saw you cook. You look the same. You haven't changed. Apparently, I look the same as since kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> my sister and I were driving around which my mother's house. Yeah. So we go to the store. We get to a light. And my mom still lives in Compton. Oh, really? So okay. we yeah. stop at the light. And this car pulls up, tinted out windows, blacked out. Uh -huh. And the window starts coming down. And my sister's looking at me. And I'm looking at the car. And the, there's a lady driving. She goes, you're Mark Lawrence. We went to kindergarten together. <laughs> and I said to my sister, as she drove off, I said, how does she know that? And my sister goes, you look the same. You look the same. <laughs> well, that, and then on top of that, you're all over TV, man. I mean, I, every day I'm seeing an AT&T commercial. You're all over the place. Right? You know, just a blessing. Yeah. You it's know a ble mean? It is. It's, a good, it's good to work. Yeah. It pays I, the bills, it, you know? It certainly does. Hey, listen, you're in Hollywood. You're backstage all the time. Mm -hmm. You're with some big names we won't name drop right now, mm -hmm. but you know, obviously, you know, Will Smith was a pursuit of happiness. And yep. you, you can list them, okay? Yep. You're back there and you're dealing with people all the time that, that really are not believers, you know, maybe somewhere undercover, I don't know, mm -hmm. you know? And there's some open. How do you, how do you live out your, your faith? Because you're a believer, you believe in Jesus, so how do you live that out back there? Well, you try to live in a way that's, that's you know, you try to walk your walk in a way that's pleasing to him. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I'll tell you, I, I mean, I know the things that I struggle with. And I, I'm, I'm not a perfect Christian by any stretch of the imagination. I struggle daily with certain things in my that's life. That's weird. I am perfect. So, oh, see, yeah, that's, so that's, that's... Yeah, I'm a rare one. So wow. Just... Can I touch the hem of your garment? <laughs> 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 um, I, you know, I just try, try to just, just be me. And, and here's the thing. I treat people the way I want people to treat me. Yeah. You know. Do unto others. Yeah. As you would have them do unto mm -hmm. you. Yeah. That's good. That's a, that sometimes that's a bigger testimony than preaching everybody. Well, you know, I, I, you know the thing is, is sometimes it, that does preach, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. I, I, Just how you live, you know. I ran you... into a lady. I, I did a, a show the other night uh, in Temecula. Okay. And uh, there was a lady and her husband that showed up because they knew I was going to be there. And she comes up to me after the show. She says, "I remember um, posting something online saying, are you going to be at Aces Comedy Club tonight?'" And I said, "No, but you know what? I'll drop in." Huh. And so I dropped in and I brought her a t-shirt. How cool is that? And, yeah. she's, and so the other night when, when she came, she yeah. brought me a pie. Oh, that's, oh well, yeah. And oh, she yeah. says, you know, she says, she says, you are so nice. She says, I'll yeah. never forget that. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's like, you know, just be nice to people. It's that's easy it. to be nice. Yeah. Yeah, just that's, that sometimes that's the best testimony is just to be nice. Yeah. Not to be that jerk in the back and just someone else out up front you know, in the back. Hollywood yeah. is full of jerks. Yeah. I ain't got to be one. Yeah. Listen. You're gonna make us laugh. We're gonna be back in a second, but real quick before we go, yeah. a lot of aspiring young artists, comedians, actors, and so on, they wanna get in the business and so mm -hmm. on. What's one word of advice you'd give them? Just one word. Hmm. One word. Yeah. That's a tough one, one word. One word. Uh, Jesus. Jesus, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I can't beat that, <laughs> Get Jesus, yeah. amen, amen. Yeah. That's it, brother. Hey, listen, we're, we're gonna be back in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Mark Christopher Lawrence is going to make us a Hey, everybody. Chucky Perez here. Hope you're enjoying the show. I just want to tell you about an organization that I really believe in and that I've recently partnered with, Holt International. Holt International is making a difference and transforming children's lives all over the world by providing care and support to vulnerable children and helping them find families to adopt them. If you would like more information on how you can transform a life and make a difference, log on to the website below. Let's get back to the show. God bless. All right, Steve, I'm here, I'm ready, and this time I know I got it right. Yeah! Look at me, I look like Serena. No, wait, Venus. Yeah, Venus!
Please help me welcome 12-year-old singing sensation, Aubrey Archibald. I don't want to be the last man standing. I don't want to be the lonely one. Picking petals when the party's over. No, it's not any fun. Cause I Are you lacking lust in your preaching style? Is your church dwindling in size because of boredom? Do you find yourself yearning for more? Well, let Bishop Spitz help you. Holy Tabernacle of Faith and the Fire of Redemption Spirit Ministries of Bethel First Trinity Baptist Church Productions presents Bishop Spitz's latest teaching DVD. <laughs> Got the hat up there. Put it in there. Moses brought the people up. <laughs> As an expert in preaching delivery, Bishop Spitz will show you and demonstrate how to properly use the holler. You know, he went down to talk to his people. Holler! He hollered at them. Holler! 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 Become an expert in the grunt. Moses went down. <laughs> Moses went down. <laughs> Yeah, that's more like a hairball, a, a grunt. <laughs> and finally, perfect the asthmatic draw. Let my people go. He said, let them go. Let them go. Let them go. <laughs> oh, you really have asthma. 
So call now. Become that preacher you know you can be. A victory lap. A victory lap for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Glad to be here. Glad to be seen and not viewed. Uh, I, I've been traveling just way too much. I've been doing a lot of traveling down south. Uh, tell you folks, the south is alive and backwards. I, I was in Missouri. Missouri is pawning themselves off as being Midwest. It's the south. They had me fooled, though. They, they flew me into Kansas City. Now, Kansas City is a metropolis. It's a lot like Los Angeles and New York. A lot of nightlife, arts and culture. But they picked me up at the airport, drove me two and a half hours into the woods. There was black people there didn't even know they was free. <laughs> they were going, don't you tell no jokes about massa. <laughs> Come on out of there, Kunta, you're free. Yeah. I was in a small little town in Missouri, Sedalia, Missouri. Three teeth in the whole town. The mayor had him on his bracelet. I realized I'm a big guy. Now, Missouri is home of the big girl. Suffice it to say, I was a little guy in Missouri. People were walking up to me going, hey, how you doing, little man? Pretty good, ma'am. Nice tooth. So now I'm trying to eat in Missouri. Everything is fried, fried everything. I did find one thing fried that I loved, fried candy bar. Somebody took a candy bar, wrapped that in cinnamon roll dough, and chucked it in the fryer. Uh, who was I to say no? Of course, after about that fourth or fifth one, I'm down on one knee. <laughs> I'm sweating butter. People are walking up trying to tap me on the shoulder and dab their biscuits on my forehead. Hey, we got a butter fountain over here. They're not even trying to help me. So I get home, I figure I better get myself checked out, make sure my heart is okay, my arteries are unclogged. My doctor says I'm an anomaly to him, says that uh, most people retain water. It appears I'm retaining meat. <laughs> and I understand it. My, my mother's from Louisiana, so I grew up with meat at every meal. Anybody else like that? <laughs> meat at every meal? My mother give you a whole ham for a snack. She say, baby, dinner won't be ready for about an hour. Take this ham. I'm four years old, dragging a 40-pound ham around the house. So now I'm trying to get myself together, trying to get back down from the fighting weight. You know how it is, it's tough, it's, it's, it's tough. You know, so I gotta do the whole dieting thing. You know, and I'm, I'm a terrible dieter. I'm like one day on, two, three, four days off. <sighs> if at first you don't succeed, have another fried candy bar, hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. Too many diets out there, that's the problem. I don't know which diet is gonna be the right diet for me. You got the Zone, the Atkins, the Scarsdale. Hollywood 24-hour diet's supposed to be a good one. Comes with a plastic surgeon. Right now, I'm on the Clydesdale diet. Mostly consists of, hey, hey, give me some of this. Hey, how about some of that? Hey, don't take that away yet. I wasn't done yet. So I'm trying to get myself to trying to, trying to get down to my fighting weight, you know? I don't want to lose too much weight, though. I don't want to be that guy, that big guy that loses a lot of weight and still have that big jack-in-the-box head. You ever see that guy? I don't want to be him. I don't want to lose my love handles either. You know, you can squeeze love out of your love handle. You ever out on the freeway, somebody cut you off, and, and, and that little evil guy on your shoulder makes you want to say something terrible? Yeah. Hey. Ooh, Jesus loves you. You can't do that when you're skinny. You got nothing to squeeze onto. You got to stick your finger in your belly button. Of course, then you spend the rest of the day trying not to smell it. What, you don't wash your belly button? Mine smells like lavender. So I'm trying to work it out, just trying to get myself together. They say in order to maximize the potential of your diet, you got to work out. So I started working out at a new gym. You might have heard of it, Curves. That's a great gym. You know, first day, they give you a personal trainer. She stood me in front of a full-length mirror. She says, Mark, we're going to identify your trouble spots. I said, I see it every day. It's all trouble. I said, if you really want to identify my trouble spots, should we be looking at my refrigerator? That's where the trouble starts. She was a great trainer, too. You know, best trainer I've ever had. I've, I've played sports all my life from the time I was a little kid to now. You know, constantly playing sports. This is how good this trainer is. First six weeks, my chest went from an A to a C cup. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark Christopher Lawrence.
Congrats, everybody. Funny stuff, man. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks. Remember when we all met? Yeah, we were in that group. Yeah, man. I love that group, man. Remember that group slice? <laughs> the yeah. group, man. Good times. Those were good, good times. times. We had it going on back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And those were really good times, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. But look at us now. We've, we've really matured. We've come a long ways, you That's know? That's right. That's right. Hey, guys. We recording? <laughs> Somebody else will. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching tonight. I hope you had fun. If you'd like any information on the guests we have, my ministry, log on to ChuckyPerezShow.com or write us today. I'd love to know you're watching and what you think of the show. So listen, until next time, keep laughing. Still dancing. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsor. Do you have a problem with that?